Just under four months ago, me and my partner Alex moved into our dream forever home with our dog Roxy and our two cats Frankie and Zeus. It was a real pinch me moment as we'd been waiting half a year for this to happen and we couldn't be happier. Since then, we've been settling in, unpacking and really making this place feel like our home. But there is so, so much that we want to do here. Renovations, big plans, extension potentially, and I just cannot wait to get stuck in. So today's video marks the first of renovations in our Georgian English countryside home in Cornwall, hopefully the first of many to come. So make sure that you subscribe and welcome to our home. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Saturday and very excitingly, today we're gonna start on the kitchen. We have booked quite a few things for the kitchen in the next few months. So things like getting our cupboards built, getting our worktops done. We've just got a new oven, which I'll show you in a second. And I really wanna get ahead. I don't want to get the cupboards done and feel like, oh, I wish we'd like started the DIY part of it before he comes and the carpenter comes to start doing stuff. And one of the big jobs that we need to do is start thinking about sanding the beams. The beams right now are like a bit of an orangey color and I really, really want them to be a bit more of a subtle color. So nothing intense. I think right now they've got a stain on them. There's gonna be difficulties, especially on the other side of the kitchen because there's lots of wires there. And I don't know if it's gonna work with us being able to get the sander underneath or whether we're gonna have to pull the wires off, but at least we can try our best and maybe that's something that we perfect later on down the line but i know that it will impact the way the room feels i did consider just painting them because that would be the easy way out i could just really lightly sand them and just paint them white and it would probably make the whole room feel a lot brighter but i do feel that that is a shame and that's a very short term way of looking at it so we're going to give it a go so the first thing I need to do is clear all of this stuff off of the shelves. I'm gonna put it all inside the dresser and then we need to like cover everything with dust sheets. We picked our paint colors. We got them all delivered the other day from Lick. I think we've gone for Lick Green 09 and White 02 as far as I remember. And the green's gonna go on the kitchen cabinets and then the white's gonna go on the walls. I think it's gonna make such a difference. But the renovation is actually starting and I'm so looking forward to it. And yeah, after we've done the beams, we need to do the flooring as well. I think we're gonna give the floors a go ourselves because they're pretty even and I think we can sand them down and restain them a much lighter color. And then we need to do some stuff with the slate too because the grouting is pretty, pretty bad. There's like grou grouting in the hallway that has like nice white grouting and then in here it's brown. So either we need to really, really industrially clean it or get new grouting, but that's another day. Let's start sorting all these cupboards out so everything's hidden away so that I can start sanding these beams. And it may look like I've already started. This is because our shower leaked the other day. That's another project for another day. So it all leaked and came down the wall. It was because the shower was like blocked and so it overflowed. And then there's a hole in our bathroom that it went through down the wall. So we've had to move this out, take everything off the shelf. So everything's already a bit of a mess in here. So not ideal. <laughs> bathroom is the next thing on the agenda because it's becoming much more clear that it's it's something that needs to be dealt with pretty soon but first things first is the kitchen and i'm gonna go get some dust sheets and figure out how to properly put everything away We have managed to find a good use of this shelf. Are we sure it looks right there? Well, not sure. Well, either way, we'll figure out if it doesn't suit there. It's belonging in the office now, which yeah. is great because it matches our desks and we can find the best place for it. If not there, maybe here, whatever. Hello. <laughs> Frankie! You are mad. Yeah, maybe with stuff on it, it will look. Yeah, we'll talk to um, Charlie, what she thinks, because that's her desk. Yeah. So um, we'll figure that out. But 
I was worried that we would have to sell it because I was like, where are we going to put it? Because we're obviously getting the built-in cupboards. So I'm really happy that we can actually make use of that and that's going to be really helpful. So we can put packages there and um, folders and files and have plants. And it will, I was saying in the last video about the office, I wanted to add some shelves in here. So now we have a set of shelves. It's just, yeah. Frankie! <laughs> <laughs> It's just, um, yeah, figuring out the best spot for it. But for now, it's in the office, and that's the most important thing. And now we've got to figure out what to do with the other dresser that all of you love so much. Um, I know you're all going to be like, no, don't get rid of it. We're probably going to have to sell it. Oh. I do yeah. love it so much, but we don't have a room for it. Where's so... Frankie gone? Huh? Where's Frankie gone? He's camouflaged. Hey, Frankie. Oh, do you want to go in the cupboard? You like cupboards. Come on. I keep on changing my outfit because it is so hot today and I've had to turn the fan off. Alex has really bad hay fever so we have to keep the windows closed and it's so hot so that's why I keep on changing and this is the only thing I can tolerate is a really loose big dress right now. But we've got the dresser out of the room. The shelf is in the office. That dresser is empty. Well, it's not empty, but everything's in the cupboard so things won't get dusty. And now I just have to clear this table because this is now full of loads of random things, making progress so we can start with the prep of cleaning this room out. It's kind of the boring part, but it's needed and we're gonna have to do it at some point. So it actually makes the room feel so much bigger without those shelves there and i know that we're getting cupboards built in but they'll be painted the same color as the wall and they'll be really high so i'm hoping it'll make the room feel i'm just yeah you wait it's gonna be great but I'd like to be near you. we just solved that cabinet i know loads of you will probably be a bit heartbroken because so many of you love it but um there's just nowhere for it like i would have loved to have kept it but there's just, it's a kitchen dresser. There's nowhere in the kitchen. There's nowhere anywhere. And a lovely lady came and picked it up and she was very happy and she was very cute. And yeah, happy it's going to a new home actually quite nearby. So yeah, that always feels good. And now we have emptied out this whole part of the kitchen. Should we start now? What? Doing stuff. Cause it's getting, uh, we'll have a think, but um, we have cleared out this part of the kitchen and it's not too disruptive. We've just managed to fit everything into the utility room no. and over here, so it's not bad at all, is it? No, it's nice and tidy. Yeah, kind of feels nice. Like the idea of there being cupboards and a seat there feels like it's gonna feel more tidy in here. Oh, it's so grimy. It is so grimy, it really needs a good paint. We put all the dust sheets down and I've got my trusty little mouse. <laughs> so basically I'm gonna start sanding see if this sandpaper is strong enough we've got two of these these are the mouse sanders really recommend for anyone doing diy at home because it comes in so much handy is that the right phrase a lot of handy so much handy lots of handy <coughs> i'm joking i say that wrong all the time alex always makes fun of me and i'm just going to see do you reckon this one's rough enough that's the roughest one do you reckon we should start less uh i don't because it looks like they've Mm, use like a belt sander which yeah. is more tough okay uh i don't know how much effect that's gonna have well, let's give it a go shall but we let's go see yeah i'll just see what this does now that mask yeah. that does a pretty good job yeah yeah look is that gonna be too strong <laughs> amazing. Gear on. Safety first. Ready to go. DIY is going great because this just broke. <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> Ta -da. Do 
I thought this was a good chance to show you the difference because I've done half of the beam. So obviously over here, um, quite dark, sort of uneven, looks like someone's had a go at doing some sort of sanding or some sort of staining. Same as over here, sort of some sort of a go. Here's a bit lighter, here's a bit darker. And then down here is the sanded part. It looks so beautiful. That is exactly the colour I would like. And I think that all I will do afterwards is seal it with a matte varnish just so that it, um, you know, keeps it protected and looked after. But look at the difference. So incredible on all of these. They're quite orange and they look a bit messy. And that's just going to look so beautiful. And you can see how once they're all done, how much brighter it will feel because that's such a lighter wood. So much lighter. I'm so, so chuffed. One beam down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to go. We'll get there eventually. Quick side note, we just made pizzas. These are the plant chef. Are they plant kitchen or plant chef? Plant chef. Plant chef pizzas and I added some sun-dried tomatoes on there and cooked them in this oven. And oh my goodness, I know it's probably not being able to tell this on camera, but it cooked the pizza so well. <laughs> There's like an option for pizzas. And it's like got made the base really nice and crispy. And both of them cooked at the same time. Like no, usually with ovens, you have to like swap the pizzas around to make sure both of them cook at the same time. But this oven is everything I've ever dreamed of. Look at this. So it goes in like that. Made famous by the Bake Off, of course. If you're not from the UK, Great British Bake Off. They all had these ovens. And when I was younger, I watched it and I thought, one day I'm going to get myself that oven. Very, very pleased, very, very happy. And I'm going to enjoy this pizza now. And then probably try and do another, another bean. look at the state of me oh three down two to go on this side making good progress we officially are done at this side of the kitchen i can't even begin to explain to you the difference it just doesn't show up on camera but wow so happy love all of these imprints from the mask it looks so much better not just because of the color but because it looks neat obviously it doesn't look neat because they're old beams but it looks like someone has gone and sanded them so ah oh, i'm so happy because it just looks so messy before but look they're so light and when the floor matches oh, it's gonna be so cool i'm so happy i really wish i'd had the time to do this end this weekend but we'll find the time Oh my gosh. What? So much dust. Yes. What do you think? Oh, wow. It's weird, it's so much lighter. Yeah. Ooh. Imagine the floor that colour as well. Yeah, oh. I really like the, um, you know, the, the rings. The actual pattern in there. Oh yeah, this one has got loads oh, of pattern on it. Actually looks really nice. Yeah. I think that someone at some point has, it was painted, so you can see there's like paint marks at the top of most of the beams. I think these were painted and someone has stripped them and we've just yeah, finished off the job. See, I don't know what's gone on, but that's really smooth. Yeah. This looks like it's been attacked. With but also, um, potentially, I feel like if there's an advocate for sun damage, it's these beams. The pine looks so smooth and perfect here. 
and why then at you, this end why would you advocate for sun damage oh you know what i mean and then down here you can see the damage in them from being by the window Oh, well, that's my assumption anyway but now we have to do these ones which you can see these are probably actually even darker than the ones down on the other side but and they're bigger um and i actually think that these ones like like they won't look as rustic as these ones because i think of this because of the sun damage like i said so i think they'll look more like they do at this end are they thinner or are they just longer no they're just longer it's because this ceiling is the floorboard ceiling and that ceiling has been boarded so that's the difference yeah, it's weird. But you can see, like, look, that versus that. Like, I know some people, some people's taste would actually probably prefer this. I, my taste, I prefer this, especially because of how dark this room can get. That makes it feel darker. I actually quite like this one. I've just got all my spinach from the garden. The garden is looking so crazy. I think I'll show you um, when we do some gardening because we need to start finishing off planting down there. It's tricky at the minute to juggle work, renovations and the gardening. So we're trying to find times and pockets when to do it. And today was Father's Day, so I couldn't spend as much time um, doing the beams because I obviously wanted to spend time with my dad today and it was really, really lovely. It's life. It's being an adult and trying to sort of fit um, all of those things at once. But priority this week, I think, is to finish these beams in this part of the kitchen and to plant all the seeds that I have bought so that they don't just sit in the drawer and so that we actually fill those beds. And I would love to weed the bottom beds because they've been like that for a while, but whether we have the time we will see, maybe that'll be next weekend. But if we manage to plant the seeds that we have and then I'd really like to get some courgette seeds and maybe some other seeds. But I think this year it's just about using the beds and not overthinking it because we are renovating at the same time more dedicated gardening can come in 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 following years i'm just making some quick pasta some pesto pasta because it's like half seven eight and that's an easy easy quick dinner and then maybe yeah maybe tomorrow or the next day we can find some time to actually do some gardening because i thought we might have time this weekend but alas we did not we did not, <laughs> though I did just um, deadhead the roses. I'll show you the roses, they look beautiful because it was bothering me. Look how gorgeous the roses are. So we have the red ones here. And you can see loads of new buds that are gonna come through in a second. And then we've got the pink ones. Could probably deadhead this one, but maybe I'll do that tomorrow. They're so like fluffy, these ones. My favorite, my favorite these white ones they're not the most perfect thing you've ever seen like they come out like this and then look at that perfect little swirl so beautiful i feel like though that it's a bit crowded with this lavender and the lavender you don't really see it beneath all of these roses so do you reckon i should move this lavender it seems to have spread quite a lot i'm thinking of moving it but wow look at how pretty all of our roses are. And our little pets. Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, just made myself a coffee. Just started my period, not feeling 100%. But oh my gosh, actually, this is something I wanna recommend you. They're these um, BU um, strips that you can buy and I pay for like a subscription. And they're basically like pl big plasters that you put on your stomach or your back or I sometimes get period pain in my legs and it like smells like menthol and it like cools the area down. And I woke up, went to the gym, came home and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm feeling not great because I had started my period, but I thought, oh, okay, I'm feeling all right, I'll go to the gym. But I hadn't had um, my breakfast yet. So I came home and I was like, wow, I can feel the sort of, I can feel it now, I need to eat something. So I had something, had some paracetamol. And as soon as I put these on and did all those things, I feel, I still feel like I'm on my period. We all know. Yeah, I just feel a lot better. So I thought I'd recommend if any of you are after something like that, because it saves you having, basically the point is it saves you having to like walk around with a hot water bottle and it's just there and it just feels very comforting and it's lovely. But today I have a very exciting meeting and I maybe will show you a little bit of behind the scenes as someone's coming down to the house and 
talking about something very fun that hopefully I'll be able to share with you later on in the summer. I don't think we're gonna do much more renovations today, but oh, I don't know, maybe. Might, I might get a win later, but it's unlikely because I've just started my period, so usually the first day of my period I like to take it easy. <laughs> don't do anything too strenuous. It's gonna be weird having someone at the house round for like a work meeting. That's just so bizarre, so bizarre. Good evening. I haven't vlogged all day because I've been glued to my computer editing. It's just been one of those days. But I had a really interesting meeting earlier, which maybe I inserted a clip of here. It's kind of top secret, can't tell you I'm that annoying YouTuber who says I'm doing something exciting behind the scenes, but it's a secret. Very sorry about that. <laughs> It was a very successful meeting and it was a lot of fun and I'm just so excited. Yeah, it was actually a very productive Monday. I'm feeling really good because um, this morning when I woke up, I was this close to being like, I'm not gonna go to the gym. And I'm very proud of myself for doing that because I'm really building up a lot of healthy habits. Let me know if you'd love to see my new morning routine and like some healthy habits I've been doing recently because it has been helping me a lot feeling, you know, in a better headspace. I'm gonna make some dinner now, and then I'll probably sign off for this vlog, and you have to stay tuned for the next video to see me finish this part of the renovation. I obviously have toyed, I'm gonna put you down. I have toyed with the idea of filming renovation vlogs where I go from start to finish of a particular renovation. So, for example, the beams, but when I, lived at my old house lots of you said you just much prefer to see the stuff as it happens every week because you like the renovation videos so you want to see them regularly so that's the route i'm going to go down i'm just going to film my vlogs and it's going to be a mixture of everything so there's going to be stuff in my life happening and there's going to be renovations happening because that's how it's going to happen and if i wait to tell you updates for the kitchen renovation once that's done, then you'll be waiting a month for every video. And I just don't want to do that again because it also doesn't make me feel very motivated to pick up the camera and edit it and put it together because I'm waiting for the next renovation to finish, which a lot of it has nothing to do with me because I'm waiting on like tradesmen or something. And this kitchen in particular, we've got a lot of waiting to do because we've got a carpenter coming in July to do the cupboards. Then our worktops are getting done in August and we're gonna paint the room so we can do that as soon as the beams are finished. Um, the electrician will come and do some other sort of little bits. So realistically, this kitchen won't be finished until the end of the summer. So I wanna take you along for all of the steps along the way and just update you every week as we're doing it. So stay tuned for next vlog when we do the rest of the beams in this room and maybe we'll get started on painting because as soon as the beams are done, no, I think we'll do the beams and then we'll do the floor because that's gonna be dusty. <laughs> and then we'll paint the room and I think the painting of the room will just, oh, it makes such a difference. I'm so looking forward to it. But yeah, I'm gonna make dinner now and I'll probably say goodbye and see you in my next vlog. So make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see renovations because we're gonna be renovating this house for years, for years and years and years. There's so much we wanna do. There's so much and I just, I'm so excited. Ah, <sighs> so excited. <laughs>